What is going on guys? Welcome back. So today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make a hexaflexagon, which is what this thing. It's like a hexagon, but if you push in three sides, it just folds endlessly like this. And I think they're pretty interesting, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to make them today. So the things that you will need are scissors, a pencil, and glue. So, and a ruler. So for the pencil, you don't have to have a pencil, it just makes it easier for the first time as you make it. So, first thing you'll be using is a ruler. So line it up on the end of your paper, like this. Let's bring it a little bit closer. So you line it up on the end of your paper, like that. So if you guys see right there, the tick mark I made larger, line it up edge of your paper right there and then make a mark on zero like that well I didn't even write on the paper and then flip your paper around so you've got your mark here and then flip it over so on the same side or on the other side making the same mark lining it up and then making the mark Nope, wrong thing. Okay. And then making that mark. So I just made... Focus. Let's focus on the ruler, but... You guys can kind of see which mark I made. And then... Take your paper lengthwise you can't really see it very well you can't really see the whole thing but when you roll it up like you can see over here with the two marks two tick marks and then draw a straight line okay so now that you have made the line take your paper and your scissors and cut across the line Okay, so now you should have this strip of paper. So take one end, say this end for example, and fold it so that this part here is on the corner point, like that. So it's not fully over, it's not fully like a triangle, but it's like that. And then take it and fold it over and down like this lining up making sure that it's flat with the bottom and then creasing it and that's your first triangle so you made so now you're able to make equal triangles now and so make this like an accordion so you have to flip the paper over and then fold it like this onto this side like that and then just keep doing that flipping it back and forth and so, yeah, do that right now. So whenever you're done, you should have something like this. So whenever you fold your last triangle over, there's this little bit hanging over just in case, fold it over like that. And you should be left with this like slinky accordion thing you can play with. It's fun to play with, but then unfold it. And this is where your scissors, well, this is where you need your pencil. So on this, right, on the first triangle, one, and then just number them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then, so it's possible to make it with ten. But to make it nicer and neater, you need 11. And then, so, after your 11th triangle, take your scissors and cut it off so you only have 
11 triangles now. So you got your 11 triangles, and then this part here, take your scissors and cut it off. Okay. So now you should be left with this strip of 11 triangles. So now this is the hardest part. You have to get this right. So three triangles, one, two, three. Take the fourth one and fold it down like that. So it's like this now. And then this this is um five, this is six, and this is seven. Take the seventh triangle, fold it underneath the sixth triangle. So like if you look on this side, the six and seven are touching now. And then take, so you got nine and one here. And it, it usually is like this, so eight. And then there's nine here, one, 10, 11. Take the nine and put it in front of the one. So the one is on the back of the nine now. And then take this, take your 10 and 11 and fold them over the back onto the back triangles. And then after you fold them onto the back triangles, flip it over, fold it up so you can like see these triangles now. Ooh. Fold it so it was like this, flip it over, fold this up so you can see these two triangles now. This is where you'll need your glue. This is like twist off glue pack. So take your glue, and so whenever it's folded over, 10 and 11, we're touching these two triangles here. So glue those two triangles. And then take it. So what I like to do is line the triangle with the glue on up like that. So you can fold the 10 over and the 11. And then whenever you have this overhang or whatever that didn't get glued, bring your glue stick back, glue it down. And then you do not need your glue stick anymore. So put the cap back on. And then take it off. So now you have your hex flex gone. So how you flex it is so you'll push down. So there's it's like this. Push down on three corner edges. So it kind of makes a triangle like this. So like you're able to fold into like that. So it makes a triangle like that. And then just pull the edges back. And it goes like that forever. And whenever you actually have them in your hand. They look so mesmerizing. It's super cool. And then, if you want it to be even nicer, you can just spend more time making sure the triangles are perfect. And so, yeah, that's how you make a hex flexagon. So now that you finish your hex flexagon, you can make patterns or anything. Don't judge my art, but anything you want on it, whenever you flex it, each face can have some sort of different pattern on it. And what I think is cool is like you have it like this and you flip it around and the things look different they're on different parts of the paper on the different parts of it which is pretty darn cool and then just you can make whatever you want you can make them you can't make them very much bigger than this or else you won't have enough triangles you can make them a little bit bigger but you can make them smaller you can make them out of any type of paper you want you can color them however you want this one I did sharpie warned if you use sharpie it does bleed through but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in my next video peace out